Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. This time we're going to try to build a futuristic sci-fi colony ship that can turn into a colony, but it can turn back into a ship if it needs to. Outpost ship maybe? A oh, fort ship? Hmm. Okay, so I kind of have an idea in my head, right? That uh, there'll be a main central tower and uh, then you're gonna have like buildings or whatever on the sides. But when it lands, the buildings are kind of, kind of, gonna kind of, you know, fold out, and it's gonna look like, uh, kind of like a TP in a sense. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm still thinking about it. So let's go ahead and just throw some stuff together. Maybe we can get to the bottom of this. Now I am gonna use regular propellant and not nerve engines because, to be quite honest, uh, the nerve engines don't have crap when it comes to um, thrust weight ratio and if we're gonna land this thing on a relatively decent sized moon we're gonna need power oh why don't you just oh veil so why don't you just put like a hundred nerves on there you'll have plenty of power um unfortunately part count is gonna be a thing with the colony ship so we're not if we can downsize the engines then we're gonna downsize the engines deal with it I mean, uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. You never know. Sometimes you gotta dig around in the mud before you can find the gold. You know what I mean? So let's just keep going. Hold up. I think I know what I need to do here. I need to... Uh, let's try this. Now, ob ob obviously, the, these damn hinges are weak as... As, as weak as sh it's just sh it's just sh stuff weakest stuff the weakest stuff in the whole freaking universe so this is obviously going to have to properly take shape on a very low gravity moon or in space before it lands we'll see it's too bad too i'd really love it if they gave us you know actual hinges and stuff that had umph behind them but i digress Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going till something either clicks or outright breaks. <laughs> till something either clicks or breaks. Like my sanity. Obviously, it's not going to stay that way unless it bumped up against it. I mean, we could mm, we could try using um, the, the docking ports to connect them together, or we can just let gravity take over it and have this same vessel interaction, and then have these two as same vessel interaction, so it literally bumps and rests on top of it. Or we can have like a little shelf right here, kind of kind of takes it in. Um, 37, huh? Okay. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> uh, la, 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 la. Um, I'm gonna keep going. Yep, I'm just gonna keep going. 
We're gonna figure this out. Something tells me this is gonna be a part two, three, and four, and whatever. It's gonna be a while. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Um, I mean, the idea is still, still, still valid, but I don't think that deploying it in this way is going to work. Whoops. Shh. It's kind of tricky. There we go. Oh, goodness. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing. I... <laughs> okay, just take that right there. Uh, so I'm going to take this. I'm actually going to create a type of uh, arch. Arch, an arch. Uh, there we go. So that way when this thing's closed, there's a big gap underneath for the engine. Or engines. Nice big gap. Mm. Okay, well if that's the case, then we need to take this and flip it. Oh wait, that's not going to work either. Because even though it does, it does the arch for us, it's not going to go all the way down. Ew. Well, <laughs> shit. this is going to be quite honest i don't know where this is going this could be going somewhere that i have no idea i mean it's still impressive delta v almost 3000 twr of 0 0.12 but then again that was the same twr of the uh mining ship station that we just finished and that was able to get everywhere pretty pretty decently you know it was a freaking eight minute burn but still decent what if i slap uh, the mammoth on here if it's going to change some stuff yeah we doubled the twr for sure our uh, delta v went down only by like 200 pretty good rocket even if you want to build a rocket ssto that's that's the one to go what about these up here huh okay okay you know let's let's go crazy and see what we got uh twr of 1.2 huh wild delta v didn't really change all that much but the twr went up drastically really well now hmm so i guess as it as it land or maybe that's oh no oh no they crush into one another <laughs> i kind of saw that coming this is why we can't have nice things um now i do realize that in the future i'm probably going to run into a design where i can't finish it right i'm just gonna have to shelve it and then you know maybe several videos down the road come back to it but i do realize this okay i'm 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 not i'm not perfect so therefore i cannot design something that works first time i've got about 30 minutes left to work on this bad boy such a naughty naughty bad boy such a big bad boy very very big okay hold up i know this engine is pretty good but we can take we can take the mastodon right the rhino the mastodon we'll, we'll figure it out we'll figure it out just we'll just put that on there for now is what it is billy billy welcome to the board billy billy eat welcome aboard Arr. okay that, i mean that looks kind of cool i might change it up but the gold is almost like a yellow plating it kind of adds to it it's like it's yellow right so it stands for like the the type of colony it is right and there'll be another one out there that's maybe blue or orange or red one might be a mining colony mining really a mining colony you don't say hmm how much time do i got damn 20 minutes okay 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 hmm you know um we're gonna need a locking mechanism some sort of locking mechanism from back here because this is gonna wobble in space really bad since it's attached to a very very weak hinge which unfortunately is the biggest most powerful hinge there is in the game so we need a type of a locking mechanism where i can put same vessel interaction and just have it kind of lock into place Okay, let me use my noggin. Um, hmm.
All right, and let's do this. SAS and full power. Oh. My gosh. Uh, stop. What the, the, what? Oh, shit. Hmm. All right, let's uh, let's try that. I really do believe that these right here are the only things keeping this whole thing from dissolving right now. It's these these locks right here. That is it. Yeah, I don't I don't see this thing landing anytime soon. Not with the current condition. We're gonna have to do some work. We're gonna have to do some work. Mm. You know, mine. It, hmm. If that's going to be a problem where it, you know, like a freaking accordion goes backwards, I'm wondering if instead of having all the hinges here, the hinges instead are attached to the head and they dangle backwards. I don't know. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to do something else because this is not working. Everyone, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Um, oof. Not oh, they froze. That's great. Did they crash? Did they blow up? Nothing. Blow. Okay, good. I'll see you all later, and we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. Okay, just like we figure everything out, we're gonna figure this out and make it work. But that's the idea for now. Alrighty then. Have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Share, like, and subscribe. Like and subscribe and share the button. The button on the the bottom left. Push it. 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 Push